So this is Sterling and Fufi, and they're going to be learning the blind search. So what he's doing, he has two balls that she's crazy for. So he walks from the blind the direction he wants her to uh, run that blind. He has one ball behind him. The word is revere. So he's going to stand up. 999, you've got to stand. Hold her. Drop the ball behind you. Have her mark on that blind. And then tell her revere. And then you have to run with that other ball. So she goes around the other side and Here. play with her. Quick! Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's pretty fast. So the words in, um, in the rule book is the search word, revere, the dog's name, and here. So, so with this dog, because she already wants to play, I would make her come to you mm -hmm. and then play. So call her again. Call her to you. Goofy, here. And let's do it again. So you need two balls again. Did you notice who she ran to? <laughs> okay. So let's do that again. Okay. No. So try that again. So you're going to drop one ball behind you. Okay. But you can't have it move a couple steps forward. Okay, get her to target on that blind. She's watching you. Put the ball just inside the blind. Keep walking around. You come back to her. Ask her to look at you. And then take your line in one hand. Now point at the blind. When she looks at the blind, say, say your revere word. Revere. Spooky. Here. Good. And now play with her. <laughs> Play with her. Okay. So try, let's try that again. So there's many, many ways to teach a blind search. This is the way I teach it. Okay, and see how Sterling has a collar? Same way that I had on Gent. So I'm going to just show, see he has a double back to sit her, so he can sit. sit it, see how calm he can be. So it can be used just as like a pinch, but pinches aren't allowed in most countries. So this is just a fur saver. This is a regulation collar you can use for um, trialing, for showing, for breed surveys, for everything. Push. So this is an essential piece Nine. of equipment Push. for a dog. Push. So one more time. Sit. So get her to mark the blind. She has to look at the blind. You look at the blind also. Revere. Right. Okay, here. <laughs> okay. So grab her line, Sterling. Grab her line. So, so tell her, please. What? So, something really important in, in Schutzen, they give, in, in the rule book, you'll see on some things you're allowed two words. Don't make a common mistake that a lot of handlers make by running the commands together. You're blowing a command. Because then, like, you'll see a lot of people. You, you're saying Foofy here. Okay, right. Foofy is to get the dog's name, to get her attention. Then you tell her. So if you run them together, Foofy here, you're blowing a command because you might need it. And same with on the call out of the blind. Lots of times you'll hear people go, here, Foos. It's here, Foos. Okay. So you get the dog's attention. That's why they allow the word here, Foos, to get the dog to you, right? Okay. Because if you have to repeat yourself, it's three commands. On the two and the three, you must do the call out. You can't pick the dog up. After three commands, if the dog doesn't do it, you just failed. So you really want the dog to listen. 
So let's do another exercise. This is um, the switching of drives. Yep. So I'm going to describe it to you. So you're going to take that ball, get her super excited on it. Okay. And um, get her super excited. Okay. Then you're going to tell her to sit. When She can't have it though. <laughs> sit. Okay. Get her super excited without her um, getting the ball. Okay. <laughs> Get her super excited. Okay, perfect. Okay, now you're going to throw it in front of you. Throw it. Okay, now you're going to say sit. Sit. Okay, now you're going to put your arm out and you're no food, no food. No. Make her sit. No, I'll, I'll, I'll click for you. Okay. Sit. Okay. Now point at that toy and say mark. And, and look at the toy yourself. Mark. And, and are you sure she's looking at it? Now go sit. Sit. Put your hand down when you say sit. Now do mark again. Mark. Go. Okay, do you see? You want her to switch the drive. Okay? So let's try that again. Okay? So not so far. Okay? okay. You want her to be sure she's focusing on because the reason for this is when you trial off a strange field, you need to be able to show that dog where the blinds are. Right? So you need that dog to be able to mark. Okay? And you also need that, it makes it a lot easier to learn the back transport. So you go sit, then now mark, and you put your arm out and you look at it. Mark. And she has to look at it. Now sit, sit. and arm down. Perfect. Do it again. And be more. Mark. Do you see she's just about trying to change drives? Mm -hmm. Okay, now do it again. Sit. Sit. Do it again. Mark. She she clicked. <laughs> okay, so that's a danger. So sometimes I just do it once and I'll click. Sometimes two or three. Like mix mix it all up.